So hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, as you can see, I've been riding this uh, motorcycle. Uh, it's a 250cc engine, and I've ridden it from the centre of Valencia here in Spain. Um, so it take me about 45 minutes to get to this Park Natural de Albufera. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the in the description. So yes, the first thing you notice about this tank, uh, this um, motorcycle, is the tank. It's a 17 litre rectangular tank taking up most of the uh, bike as you can see so it's probably uh, so uh, you know with such a big tank it comes at a price uh, and that's the uh, the custom seat that's possibly the shortest of all the motorcycles uh, starting with the twin shock frame and a four stroke single uh, cylinder 250cc engine the Mutt motorcycle has partnered with Suzuki producing the GN250, which is renowned for its power and longevity. The engine has a max power of uh, 21 brake horsepower uh, with uh, 18 newton meters of torque, giving you an approximate speed of 70 miles an hour. At a push, you can probably get about 75, 80, but that's uh, really pushing it. Um, <clears throat> it's a lovely, lovely bike, as you can see. Um, I love the little touches of it, the, the indicators, the small indicators there, uh, and the grille on the front of the uh, headlight there. Um, let's have a quick look. So, all the motorcycles, as you probably know, uh, are made in a, a place called Birmingham in England. Uh, they come in various uh, uh, ranges. It's a bit like the uh, CCM, what they're trying to do with, with their motorcycles. Uh, and that's trying to make it a bigger stock, you know, with all these different names and different, slightly different changes in, in the chassis. <clears throat> so they all, uh, this one is the Akita, uh, which comes in black and gold, as you can see. Um, they do an RS13, uh, which comes in black and raw steel. I could go on about the colours. They do an FSR, a GTSR, a Mashman, a Mongrel, uh, the Sabbath they do. Uh, a Mastiff, um, the, a Hiltz, um, and finally the, the Razorback. Now the Razorback is uh, a completely different seat and uh, seat in angle, I reckon. Um, so the price range starts from about 3,650, uh, and it goes uh, that's on the road, and it goes up to 4,350. So I think you'll agree that. Um, a very affordable motorcycle. I mean, the 125, uh, which I've seen before here at, uh, in Valencia, is a, such a good bike to, to actually start riding on. I mean, it looks like one of those custom cafe bikes you can start off, you know, the 125, uh, using the CBT license. Uh, so it, it, this bike is giving you the same feel and sound of a classically styled custom machine. Absolutely amazing. Um, <coughs> The feel of it, easy to change. Um, let's have a look at the uh, these tyres. These tyres, as you can see, um, it rolls on an 18-inch wheel with stainless steel spokes and a black aluminium rims. Let's have a look at the tyres. The tyres are Timson or Timson. Never heard of them. I'm really sorry, but. You probably have heard of them, but I haven't. But uh, yeah, quite knobbly. That'll keep you on the road, won't it? So, so let's go up the uh, and look at the. Uh, tell it what we'll do. We'll, we'll look at the. We'll listen to the sound of the exhaust. Let's have a quick look around here. Nice little brake light there, as you can see. Moving up, there's a nice long stitched seat coming up to the tank. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Let's give it a turn on. Make sure it all starts up properly. Nice little, tiny little TFT. It's, gonna, it's in neutral. It's going to give you the, uh, the fuel tank, the mileage, or in kilometres this, this is, and the, the actual speed. And it will tell you what gear you're in as well, which is what I like. So let's have a little listen, shall we? Got to pull the clutch in, David. <laughs> Hold on one sec. <laughs> As you can 
see is on the opposite side, so... Very nice sound indeed. Yeah. I think with these bikes, this is the 250 as I say, you'll get a lot for your money. The suspension is good. The seat is a little bit hard for my liking, but so, so I mean, I'm guessing if you do a, a long ride on, on, on the motorcycle, it's gonna be a bit uncomfortable. So yeah, it's lovely. I'm quite enjoying it. I'm in this park, it's called um, Park Natural de la Albufera. And in the middle, it's got a lovely big long lake. So yeah, let's have a little ride and see what it feels like, shall we? Lovely streets. Nice oh, some twists and turns here. Where are we? Beautiful little village. There we go. Okay. So I hope it's filming. <laughs> I'll be quite disappointed if it's not. <laughs> so I've just spent most of the day in the Park Natu Natural in the Albufura. And it's very nice indeed. Absolutely beautiful, lovely sunny day. Approximately 27 degrees. And uh, there's an absolute massive lake over there. If I had time, I'd like to take a little boat trip out there. So, uh, as you saw the walk around of the bike, uh, I'm on this uh, Akita 1, uh, 2, 250, I should say, not a 125, but 250. And uh, what a little, lovely little machine. You know, I've been on the lookout for a winter bike. Well, we're in winter now, back in the UK. And, uh, well, I don't know, this, this, uh, this bike could fit the bill, as it were. Absolutely love it. So I rode it, as I said, I rode it through the centre of uh, Valencia, where I picked it up, at Cafe 55. I'll put a link in the description. In the centre of Valencia, they rent out bikes, caballeros, panties, uh, and mo mo motos. 
motorcycles I should say. Um, so yeah, absolutely stunning place this is. I'm glad I came here now. Um, so I'm going back to the hotel just for a minute. Where we're staying in Las, Pan Las, uh, Las Arenas. Right in the front of the uh, beach. It's a beautiful hotel. A little bit on the expensive side, but you know what? We're out of season. So I thought, you know, sub the expense. Let's go for it. Getting back to the bike, it's a, a lovely responsive bike. Uh, gears change nice and easy. Uh, twists and turns, which I've been through many, getting through this park. Uh, there are a few gravelly bits which I've tried and the tyres are more than capable of handling it. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm quite enjoying the bike. It's nice and relaxing. I wasn't sure how to get on through the town centre, or the city centre I should say. But uh, yeah, I think I did all right. <laughs> I used uh, Google Maps, it helped me out quite well. And I've also been using a, a, a map called Wikilock, or Wikilock. And I think initially it's 4 dollars you can count, you've got two weeks free. I'll put another link in the description, two weeks free. And after that it's like $4.99 uh, <coughs> for, for a year. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And that's anywhere in the world you can use that. So look at this, this thing's like, look, absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if you can get that. But yeah, absolutely. 